Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. We are back once again with a really, really big team vitality update. This is, of course, talking about Bo. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I have all of my eggs in the Bo basket. I was all on board for TSM uh, trying to pick up Bo, trying to have him be the replacement for Spica going forward into the future uh, because it seems like Spica will likely be leaving TSM in the offseason. TSM decided to pass on him. He ends up going to Vitality. And now we are just waiting to see when this guy's going to get his opportunity to play, when he's going to get the chance to play, and how good, bad, whatever he's going to be when he gets to the LEC. But I really think this is one of the most hyped prospects we've seen in quite some time in the West. Like, yes, we're getting to see Berserker for Cloud9 right now, which is uh, probably a, a better prospect than Bo, to be honest. But um, Bo is right up there with Berserker. And it's crazy that we get even one of these guys in the West. But the fact that we have potentially two of them in the West right now uh, is really, really exciting. I think Berserker is on his way to being a future LCS MVP. You know, you got the Pentakill last weekend, all that stuff. And I think Bo... Uh, is going to be just as good. So we're going to be getting an update of what's been going on with Bo recently, what he's saying, what some other people are saying, uh, and maybe when we'll get to see him play. I don't know. First up, I just wanted to check in with his solo queue account. This is ZYB. This is the account for Bo. You guys can see right here. He is rank two on the ladder. Uh, if we take a look at the ladder, he is at 1632 LP. He's about a whole hundred LP behind school phobia. Um, I don't think he's hit rank one yet. I haven't seen him at rank one, but this guy's a solo queue monster. Like he's an absolute solo queue crusher. Uh, he's been rank one, I think multiple times before in Korea. So him coming over to EUS and, and getting rank one would not be a shock to anyone. Um, this guy that he's behind right now, school phobia, this is actually Lebrov, uh, for team vitality, which is funny. Actually his team they have, uh, you know, two Team Vitality members at the top two. And uh, I mean, that's that's what this Team Vitality team is. Like, they're, they're all of a sudden a team of just really, really skilled, highly mechanical, uh, really individually skilled players. You know, like, obviously, Alfari and Perks are individually skilled. Bo is maybe one of the best mechanical players, like, in the world, or uh, especially as a prospect. Um, you have obviously Karzi who has been really good, uh, maybe not so good in 2022, but he's another young player with a ton of mechanics, a ton of potential, a ton of talent. Uh, and then you have Lebrov, you know, he's good enough to hold rank one in the US, which is a pretty good server. Uh, and Lebrov's another guy, a younger, less experienced guy who's coming up with a ton of talent potential. But, um, with Bo, you can see here 71% win rate on Graves still 63 on Talon, 66 on Diana. His most three are all, uh, big carry champions. He's looking to carry games. He's looking to pop off. Even his Samira, this is what he plays when he gets autofilled to 80 carry, 57% win rate. He's averaging 11 kills per game, 9.8, 14.6, 9.9, 10.6, 11.7, 13.3. .9, 10 .6, I mean, he's damn, I mean, he's, I don't know if it actually shows, but he's pretty much averaging over, or close to or over 10 kills a game on every champion. In his last 20 games of solo queue, his average game is 9.6, 5.7, and 6.7. And like, those are crazy stats, let alone he's ranked two. So he's playing in challenger games. He's playing in the highest, the best games in EU West. He's getting autofilled to decent amount you can see a twitch a samira a samira Callista. like he's not even getting jungle all the time and he's still just popping off this guy is insane this guy is a big 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 talent and I think Team Vitality, um, you know, really has a winner here. And obviously, if we take a look at the LEC standings, Team Vitality already, in and of themselves, is doing pretty good. They're a game behind Mad Lions. Vitality, I believe, picked up a win today. Mad Lions dropped a game. So, uh, obviously, Vitality's on the way up. Mad Lions on the way down. Vitality could end up winning the regular split. And with the LEC having four seeds, it seems pretty likely at this point that Vitality is going to have a really, really, really good shot at going to Worlds. And all of a sudden, even though Vitality was so disappointing in spring and it, it was like the super team gone wrong and everything was going wrong, yada, yada, yada. All of a sudden, Perks has found himself. Perks has revitalized. Alfari's looking good. The bot lane is looking better than they were in spring split. This team is coming together. Uh, and I still think most people would probably consider Haru the weakest link. So if this team can add Bo... Whether it's in 2022, 2023, or whatever, if they're able to keep this core of players together plus an insane jungler, this team could be really, really scary. If this team already maybe wins the split, maybe wins the title, maybe makes it to the LEC final, something like that, and then they're going to get better in the offseason with a guy like Bo, who I don't know exactly how old Bo is. I've looked it up before. He's like 20, 21, somewhere in there. You know, a guy who has many, many years ahead of him. 
this could be something very, very special that Team Vitality is building, actually, which it didn't look like that at all in the spring. And now the script has totally flipped. This Team Vitality team is actually looking like competent for the first time all season. But uh, we do have some updates to get into that I want to show. This uh, Reddit thread that I actually thought was very, very spicy and interesting. He says, someone asked Vitality Bo when he'll play in the LEC, and he translated the conversation. So you can see this is ZYB. This is EU West. This is in the client. Somebody talking to him in chat, somebody that added him or whatever. Uh, I assume they're speaking, you know, Mandarin Chinese. Uh, and somebody he says, uh, by the way, have you started scrimming yet? And Bo responds, not yet. And this was 11 days ago. So this was like late July. Uh, apparently, Bo says he, at that time, again, about two weeks ago, he had not started scrimming with Team Vitality yet. And this lines up with what we'd heard from the Rogue like GM, I believe. It was somebody high up for Rogue, the president of esports, something like that, who had said, hey, Bo is here on a traveler's visa, you know, like something like that. He's not here on a worker's visa, so he can't really scrim. He can't really play, and he's not going to be playing in the LEC anytime soon. He's actually got to get that worker's visa, and then he would be able to play if the team wants him to play or whatever. So obviously, you know, that was what we had heard, and Bo kind of confirms that by saying, hey, have you started scrimming yet? He says, not yet. He asks, hey, did they tell you when you're going to get to play? And Bo confirms, I'm still waiting for my work visa, so I'm not sure. This guy says, all right, hope to see you play soon, which, hey, so do I. So do so many people out there. I'm so, so, so excited for this. I, like I said, I'm all in on the bow basket. Uh, I think he's going to work out. I think he's going to be insane, uh, and I really hope he is because, obviously, we could use more players like that in the West, uh, and he has a smiley face. So there we have it. You know, it is now confirmed that uh, from Bo himself, uh, obviously, um, you know, obviously the rogue GM, I'm not saying he's an unreliable source or anything like that, but getting to hear it from Bo is definitely good that yes, he is waiting for his work visa. It is kind of interesting. He has not scrimmed or anything with the team like that. You know, they're, they're waiting until he even has an opportunity to play. Um, and yeah, who knows? Obviously now there's four games left in the LEC regular season. There's only one week left. So each passing day gets less and less likely that we're going to see Bo anytime in 2022. Um, um, I don't think that, say, he gets his workers visa like in the playoffs. I don't think they'd bring him in in the playoffs and try to have him available for Worlds, but maybe they would. Maybe they'd bring him to Worlds with them and like scrim with him at Worlds and stuff. I don't know. That actually could be pretty spicy, pretty interesting. Um, I'm really not sure how it's all going to work out. There was some comments here in the in the comment section on the Reddit post, too, that said, uh, apparently in a podcast with French esport commentator Duke, Vitality coach Mephisto said we might see Bo playing with the team before the end of the split. And, you know, this was a day after this post came out. So even a day after that Bo had said that he has not scrimmed with the team or anything like that, the head coach is still saying, hey, you might see Bo play with us at some point this year. So one, that means they are kind of expecting him or maybe there's a chance he gets his workers visa sometime relatively soon. You know, if they don't think it's even going to happen until like November, December 2023, he's not going to say, hey, you might see him play. He's going to be like, no, he's not playing. He's not going to get his visa, whatever. Um, and then, uh, you know, if they weren't going to play him, if there was only a week left or playoffs or whatever, then he wouldn't say that either. So maybe there are some expectations. Maybe there is potential and chance for him to actually get this workers visa done and get to play at some point. Because again, Yes, uh, if he gets to play, he won't have had any time, uh, you know, play with the team or anything like that. We still don't really know how good his English is, or um, obviously he hasn't played competitive in a little bit at this point. So who knows how good he would be right off the bat. But uh, it's not like Haru is exactly dominant right now. It's not like he's setting the world on fire. So uh, if you could get both some games, see what you have with them, maybe even let him play some scrims and see how the team goes. Um, you know, this could be something that levels up the team significantly. But I think either way, this is so, so exciting for 2023 because all of a sudden Vitality is looking competent. Vitality's looking good. They're looking strong. They're looking like one of the strongest teams in the LEC right now without him. And if you know you have a huge, you know, X factor coming in in 2023, that is very, very exciting. I can't wait to watch him and Perks play together because I assume Perks is going to stay at this point, especially if the team keeps keeps doing good. Uh, you have a lane dominant player like Alfari with the jungler that wants to get aggressive and invade and dive and stuff. I think that Bo could fit this team and these players so, so well. Uh, and I think he's going to have a chance to be really dominant in Europe for years to come. But we'll have to wait and see. So far, no workers visa. He hasn't scrimmed the team yet. But uh, they're not ruling out the possibility of him playing at some point in 2022. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Let me drop a like if you did enjoy. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this one. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save today, and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.